Yo, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm Nubran Fruit and in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock every single Break the Curse Jujutsu Kaisen like, reward in the mini pass. And basically to unlock these rewards all you have to do is just reach the maximum uh, cursed energy amount to get them. And in this video I'm going to show you a quick way to do it before even the grade 1 and the special grade quests are live. We can do this uh, today. I, as you can see I just did it early. And uh, uh, like the last rewards for those who bought the premium pass will be the Yuji Itadori uh, edit style which is him in a sorcerer like a uh, outfit which looks absolutely sick and for those who have like the free mini pass you will get the shadow play free uh, emote which is such a dope emote i really really love it especially if you have the back link so uh, first let me just equip this right here let me just equip the um the edit style and i'm gonna click claim so if i go right here to the battle pass as you can see i finished everything and if i go to the quest right here you will see that grade one has not is not even live yet so uh, tomorrow tomorrow we're going to get grade one and the special grades for people to complete it but if you want to complete it early if you want to run the yuji itadori skin today this moment this is how you do it basically you complete the uh, grade uh, four grade three grade two and then you complete these uh special uh like special quests which are free for the like creator made islands so basically you earn xp in the creator made islands and as you can see i'm only at grade three stage four out of five there's five stages left and i just reached here and i already completed the I don't even need to uh, I don't even need to play tomorrow I don't even like need to do the quests maybe I will do them just to get the new glider just to get the two sorcerer grades but other than that I have like the complete uh, like mini pass which is insane so yeah without further ado this is how you do it I hope you guys like enjoy the video and if you found it helpful please do consider leaving a like and subscribing if you want to see more content like this and yeah like I said without further ado here are all the quests enjoy for this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, so you have to collect Hollow Purple or Straw Doll technique in different matches. So this is the new mythic, as you can see. This one is the Straw Doll technique. You can literally find these like laying around, as you can see. I just found this one in uh, Brutal Bass here, right here, laying around. So you can just collect that. So that counts as collecting it for one match. So you can just exit the game and just go into a different match. Also, you can also find these in um, like uh, inside of uh, like Cursed Llamas, which will appear. So as you can see, this is the Cursed Llama icon. Just go here, destroy the Cursed Llama, and you will get the uh, the power from it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. For this Jutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to help in hunting Cursed Llamas. So as you can see, this is the Cursed Llama right here. Two of them just appeared on the map. You can see the icons for them. We're going to go to this one because it is the closest one. And we just need to help in destroying it. So it should be right over here. I kind of got lucky with where I, uh, I landed because the Cursed Llama is very close. Oh, there it is right there. Oh my god, it's shimmering. <laughs> Alright, let's destroy it. Hopefully I have enough ammo for this. I can't believe I'm the first one here, man. And as you can see, it gives you the powers all around. And yeah, just collect the powers and go ahead and do whatever you want to do with them. There, that's pretty much it. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to damage opponents using Hollow Purple or Straw Doll technique. So as you can see, these are the uh, techniques. They're the new Jujutsu Kaisen powers. And you can basically just choose whichever one you like and just deal damage to opponents with it. So let's see here. There's There was somebody here, I'm pretty sure. I just saw someone running around in this area. So just need to find ourselves an opponent and deal damage. Oh, there we go. Okay, we have people here and we have somebody driving a car there. So let's go say hello. Come on. Yo, that is so cool. Oh my god, the animation for that. Dude, just wait, man. Where are you going? Come on. Alright, I guess we're gonna do this. He wants me to chase him. You know, some people are like to play hard to get. Here we go. Where are you, buddy? Are you inside? Okay, I'll destroy everything then. Oh my god. Yo, that is insane. Is he here? Yeah, he's building. Okay, seven seconds until I get the next one. Does he think I don't see him? Oh my god, that is a lot. No, 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 no. I'm just here to do the curse thingy. Okay, I need one more. The nail is recharged. Let's see. So you get the gist of it, right? You just deal enough damage with the curse powers, and that should complete the quest. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to travel under bridges. So there's five bridges in total. There's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We're gonna go to this one right here. 
hopefully I don't get eliminated here. All right. So there's this bridge right here. We just need to travel underneath it. So this is the bridge. And we go under it. Okay, that's one out of three. Let's just get out of it. Second bridge is right over here. So let's go. Let me just ping it again. Right here. All right. And hop. And hop. Come on. It's much easier when you have a grapple glove. You can just travel much faster. Here's the bridge. Traveled underneath it. And then we'll go to the next closest bridge, which is, I think, this one right here. Okay, what's going on here? Was this like a llama? Yeah, it's a llama. I already have the power, so I don't really want to fight it. Or I don't really care for it. So I'm just going to grab this car. And I think I can just make my way through this river. I'll go here. There should be a road coming up, so I can use that. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, here's the road. We should get faster. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. And we're almost there. Okay, <laughs> I'm out. I'm just going to use the remaining uh, shots here. Someone is shooting at me. Okay, here's the bridge. And we're going to go underneath it. And there it is. That's three out of three completed. Beautiful. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to visit six different named locations. So basically, these named these are the named locations right here, the ones that have names on top of them. For example, Brutal Bastion right here. We just need to visit six in total. So whenever I land in a location, it should count as one. So I'm just going to land here for a second. And this should count as one location. Sometimes without even landing, just, you know, hovering around it will also count. But yeah, we're just going to do that. Here we go. Just land here. And there it is. That's one out of six, as you can see. And you just need to go ahead and visit five. As you can see, this one is ticked off. So you can just go ahead and choose whichever five that are closest to you. Just visit them and that should be the quest. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, so you have to assist in searching chests or ammo boxes. You need to search 50 chests or ammo boxes. And yeah, it's basically just find yourself some chests. You open them. And as you can see, that's one out of 50. Open this one as well. And of course, I highly recommend going to Mega City right here because you will find a lot of chests. I believe like almost 130 chests spawn in Mega City. So you can just go here and just keep opening chests. As you can see, I have 2 out of 50 here. I just need 48 more. Just go here, open them, and that's it with the quest. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to damage opponents using assault rifles. You need to deal 1000 damage. So you just grab yourself an assault rifle, something that you are good with. And you basically find yourself an opponent and deal damage to them. Let me just scout ahead here and see if I can find somebody that I can go ahead and deal damage. Oh, I see somebody there. Okay, let's go. Let's go there. All right, here we go. I see somebody over there. Finally caught up with them. I just need to deal damage with the, um, with the assault rifle. And there it is. <laughs> so as you can see, just deal enough damage with assault rifle and that should complete the quest. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to destroy 200 structures slash objects using the new Jujutsu Kaisen mythics slash powers, which are the holo purple technique and the straw doll technique. So as you can see, I just floated like in the air. I didn't even land. This is like my first time landing from a bus. Just waited at around 1 minute, maybe 30 seconds until the first storm. And as you can see, the first llama appeared, the cursed llama and the second cursed llama. So I'm just going to go right here. That's where the other llama right there. I just need to uh, find myself a weapon first. I don't care about this bot who's chasing me. Come on. I just need a couple of weapons, enough to shoot down the llama, and bye bye. All right, so the llama should be right over here at icy islets. Oh, and somebody landed here, so I gotta be careful. So this is the location of the llama. 
There she is. And we're just gonna shoot her down to get ourselves the mythic powers. Did she drop uh, some ammo? Yeah, there we go. Let's grab this ammo. Good. Alright. Let's grab more ammo. Let's kill this guy. Oh, he got eliminated. Since he got eliminated, we need to bounce because a real player eliminated him. Alright. I just need to make our way out of here. And then we're gonna go to the nearest, uh, the nearest like structure. And we're gonna destroy it. Of course, you can do this also on uh, on builds when people build. We're gonna go to Brutal Bastion just to uh, show you what you can do. All right, first we're gonna heal up. So if you don't know the um, the purple Hollow Power, which is the most destructive one, only has three charges, and once you use all three, they will actually disappear. Like you will lose the power. But if you use the uh, if you use the Straw Doll, this one, it will actually uh, recharge when you use a nail. So if I use one nail, after seven seconds it will recharge. Same goes for uh, for this, but of course, if you use all three, they will be all gone, and you won't be able to do it again. So first, we're gonna go up here and gonna destroy as many objects as possible. Of course, uh, you can do this anywhere. You can do it uh, on your own builds. You can do it on uh, spots that you like most, or where you think there's more options. So let's go here and let's destroy this right here in front of us. Oh my God! Look at that destruction, dude! Holy moly! This thing is insane, dude. This thing is absolutely insane. And of course, for the straw doll, you can just, you know, it does it does good damage. It destroys structures. As you can see. Ooh. Oh my god, man. People are looking at me. I can't really stay long because they will try to kill me. But as you can see, the uh, the nails are not as strong. You need at least three shots on a build to destroy it. But if you use this, everything in your path is, is destroyed, which is insane, man. I have one more shot, so I'm going to use it. It's, it's active in 14 seconds. And I think the guy who shot me is chasing me. But I'm just gonna, you know, go all the way over here. He shouldn't be able to chase. And here we go. Alright, we have a good angle here. Let me go up here just for a nice screenshot. I should be able to make a thumbnail out of this. By the way, this is how thumbnails are made. <laughs> so, we got this. Oh my god, man. Look at that. Look at all that destruction, dude. Holy moly. Of course, the guy is... I don't know why, man, he's chasing us. It's not like we're, <laughs> we're doing anything to him. Uh, but yeah, you get the gist of it. Now, you go to any, like, uh, PUI that you like after getting these powers. I just... I highly recommend using the Hollow Purple. It does so much damage. And aim for buildings that have a lot of objects inside of them. So, for example, if you go to uh, places where there are houses... They will have more objects inside of them, like Breakwater, Way, uh, Breakwater Bay, for example, or the temples right here at Kenjutsu Crossing. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just destroy 200 objects, and that should be the quest. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to mantle, sprint, jump, and slide in a single match. So if you don't know how to do any of these actions, basically to sprint, you need to press shift once while going forward. That's sprinting. Uh, sliding while uh, you just have to uh, like press control while you are running. So run, press control, and you will slide. Jumping is just press space, it's literally as simple as that. And mantling, you just hold space next to a ledge. So if I am close to this ledge right here and I hold space, I will automatically mantle. You can also make your own ledge by building something, like it doesn't really matter what. So a ramp, for example, just hold space and you will mantle on top of it. So yeah, that's all four actions. Run, slide, jump, and then mantle onto anything. Here we go. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that and that should come the quest. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to damage opponents within 10 seconds of mantling or sprinting. So basically, you need to mantle or sprint, and then you have 10 seconds to deal as much damage as you can. You need to stack 750 damage in total. So we got ourselves a player here. Always go into like contested spots if you like, uh, if you are looking to deal damage as fast as possible. Here we go. So that player landed there. Let's grab something here. I think it's a bot. Okay, we got a pistol, which is not so good. All right. Let's go. So, we're gonna sprint. We're gonna mantle. Come on. Mantle here. And we're gonna deal damage to this guy who's chasing us. We're gonna sprint again. 
and deal damage again. <laughs> so that's the basic idea. Just make sure you either sprint by pressing shift or by uh, mantling by pressing uh, holding uh, space. When you hold space next to a ledge, you will automatically mantle on top of that ledge. So whenever you do either of those actions, you have 10 seconds to deal damage to whoever uh, is closest to you. And yeah, just deal 750 damage in total, and that should complete the quest. For this Jutsu Kassen quest, you essentially have to hit 20 headshots on opponents, which is not easy, of course. When you, once you find yourself a bot, you can do this quite easily by hitting the head. Come on. Come here, dude. There we go. So, uh, the orange markers, those uh, those signify like uh, headshot damage. So you need to aim for the head as best as you can and get yourself like 20 headshots, which is not easy. One of the best ways to do this is to go to NPCs and do it on them. Uh, of course, normal NPCs don't work, but the like the high card boss NPCs, those work. And if you don't know, like every game, these boss NPCs will spawn like at a random location from either Mega City, uh, this place right here, Brutal Bastion, I believe, and uh, Shadow Slabs, and there was somewhere else, I think it's this this one right here, and this house right here. So, either of these six locations will have one of these, one of these, like, high card uh, boss NPCs, and just need to go there and just aim for the head, and, uh, you know, start with the henchman, and then end up with the boss, try to get as many headshots as you can, try to get as close to 20 headshots, and that should complete the quest. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to collect a weapon at a named location in different matches. You need to do this in five different matches. So each match, you're going to jump into a named location, such as uh, Slappy Shores, for example. It's a location that has a name on top of it. And it's a very simple quest. All you have to do is just find yourself a weapon and collect it. It's literally as simple as that. Then you can just, you know, exit and uh, jump into five, uh, four more different games and collect weapons at the, uh, the named locations again. You can go to Creaky, you can go to Brutal, wh whichever location that you like. And yeah, uh, once you collect five, that will complete the quest for this Jujutsu Kaisen quest it says you have to damage opponents with pistols or smgs so for example right now i have a combat smg that i'm going to use you need to deal 1500 uh, damage in total and i highly recommend doing this in team mumble mode and we should be able to find somebody right here in the middle of the poi so like i said the basic idea is for you to deal damage with these weapons oh more smgs nice nice and uh, the best way to do it is to uh, go into team rumble mode because you can just you know spam it There we go. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, that. <laughs> of course, that could happen, but it will not happen in Team Rumble World because you can spawn again. And yeah, like I said, just deal 1500 damage with pistols or SMGs, and the truth could be the quest. For this Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to assist in eliminating enemy players. So basically, you just need to get yourself 25 eliminations or 25 assists. So you can do this with, uh, like, in duos or squads, of course, if you have, like, a friend who can help you. But the basic idea is just for you to get some elimination. So let's try to eliminate that Spider-Man uh, player right there. Here we go. We got one of the strongest shotguns. And an SMG here. Oh, no. Another shotgun. Oh my god, so many shotguns. <laughs> okay, let's go up there and say hello to the guy who landed over there. He's still up there. He's very close. There we go. Nice. So that's one elimination out of 25. You get the gist of it, of course. But um, like, if I had to uh, like give you the best option for this, is definitely Team Rumble mode. If if you if you don't have the time to get like 25 eliminate, looking for 25 players in Team Rumble mode, people are just gonna keep falling from the sky, and you just need to eliminate 25 of them, and that should complete the quest. For this Jujutsu Kaisen create to uh, quest, it says you have to survive two uh, uh, like storm circles while holding the new Hollow Purple Mythic or the Straw Doll Mythic. So this is the Hollow Purple Mythic, for example, as you can see, and all you have to do. Is just, you know hold it while the storm closes in so as you can see the, the storm is now closing there's only 15 seconds left so there's the counter right here 10 9 8 all the way to 0 once it closes that counts as one zone you need to do this twice so make sure you are inside the uh, white circle when it does so as you can see that's one uh, one zone and now I just have to make my way to this spot right here and just survive while the uh, the thing like the mythic is equipped make sure this is in your inventory when you do it it will not count if you don't have it and yeah, you can also have both of them uh, at the same time. If you're wondering where to get these mythics, you get them from these cursed llamas right here. They appear throughout the, the game. Uh, I think the first time they appear is uh, around one minute into the game. You just kill the llama and it will give you the two mythics. Just hold them out, survive for two, uh, for two storm circles, and that should be the quest. 
For this great two Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to collect epic weapons or higher uh, in, in within 20 seconds of landing from the battle bus. So right now we have landed from the battle bus. The moment we hit the ground, we're going to count to 20. And in those 20 seconds, we're going to collect three epic weapons or better. So I'm going to show you exactly how. First, you want to land right here at the Aura NPC location. And the first rare weapon is going to be, uh, the, the first epic weapon is going to be sold by Aura herself. So let me just get this weapon out of the way. We're going to buy the Thermal DMR. I'm gonna buy two uh, two keys. And then I'm gonna take this car. That's four seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, come on. Eleven, twelve. I'm gonna open this. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and twenty. And as you can see, we got ourselves three legendary weapons. You can have these, man. You can just just be be cool, be cool, please. See? <laughs> I'm, I'm friendly. So as you can see, those are the three epic weapons. You can just collect them. This is like was under 20 seconds. And it's very, very easily doable. Just, you know, land here. Get two uh, uh, holo keys and get one uh, epic uh, DMR. Or you can get three holo keys. And just make your way to this temple right here. And just open all of these, as you can see. And yeah, this is the basic idea. Just do that. And that's it with the quest. For this great two Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to deal 1500 damage to a cursed llama. So this is a cursed llama, as you can see. This is what it looks like. They spawn randomly around the map throughout the game. So there's three right now, as you can see right here. More of them are going to spawn uh, in the future. And basically, you just go to the, the llama and just deal damage to it. It's very self-explanatory. There we go. It should have way more than 1500 uh, HP. So one llama should be enough. Come on. Do it. Let me do it. This is much easier. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab this, and we're gonna bounce. Because somebody's gonna come here. Come here. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I get the gist of it. Just deal 1,500 damage in total, and that should be the quest. For this great two Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to land direct hits using the straw doll technique, DMRs, or sniper rifles. So you can either use a sniper rifle or a DMR if you're good with those. But if you are ever lucky and find yourself one of these uh, straw doll techniques, I highly recommend uh, doing these because they <clears throat> not only do they uh, charge, but they're also super, super awesome to use, and they deal a lot of damage. So basically, to get yourself the mythic straw doll technique, all you have to do is just uh, destroy one of these cursed llamas, and you will get both mythic powers from it. And once you do, just grab the mythic uh, like throttle technique. And a body shot means that a, di a direct shot means a body shot. So you need to land the shot on the body of the opponent. So I'm pretty sure there's um, there's a couple of NPCs here. The henchman boss. They should still be alive. Yep, there we go. All right. I'm just gonna. Oh, oh my God! No, 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 no! I don't need to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna use this. And deal a body shot to make sure the shot hits the body itself. So just aim here. Come on. One more second. And body shot. So that's the basic idea. Just make sure you aim for the body. And like I said, you can also use a DMR or a sniper rifle if you're good with those. Of course. Of course, man. <laughs> Why was he hiding up there? So you get the gist of it. Just aim for the body. Make sure it's a body shot. Like uh, use either the uh, straw hole techni technique, the, um, the uh, DMR or the sniper rifle. And yeah, just deal enough damage with that, and that should be the quest. For this great two Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to deal damage to a player before taking damage in a match. So as soon as the match starts, I highly recommend just uh, going into a hot spot. So for example, a hot spot is the golden named uh, spot. So this one is Creaky Combat, as you can see. And we're just going to land here. And we're going to follow whoever lands with us. And we're going to deal damage to them. Make sure you are the first one to deal damage to them, and not the other way around. Let's see. Is anybody landing here? Oh, here we go. We got ourselves a victim. Okay. I just need a weapon, need a weapon, need a weapon. All right. Let me grab this. And there it is. <laughs> you don't need to kill them. Just need to be the first dude to deal damage to them. Once you do that, that will complete the quest. For this great two Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says you have to complete jobs from different job boards in different matches. So basically, all you have to do is just go to named PUIs, and each named PUI is going to have this like uh, exploration thingy on it, and that's the location of the job board. I already made a video on all the job board locations in the game, so you can just go ahead and look that out if you want uh, on the channel. Uh, but yeah, basically just go to the job board itself, and you accept the job from it. You can only do one per game for, for the quest. So this is the job board, as you can see. 
Hopefully I don't get shot. So you can choose from visit locations, search this chest, or limit any player, enemy players. I'm just gonna choose this, for example. That's basically the bounty. Oh my god, man. Come on, dude. Be cool. I think it's a bot, so I'm just gonna move, <laughs> move along here. So as you can see, I have myself uh, like a bounty. Just follow the guy who's inside the green circle and eliminate them. That will complete the, jo the job board. Make sure you complete the board itself. Um, once you uh, complete it, that will count. And then you just exit and start it again. If you choose the other ones, the other ones are basically to visit no named locations or visit landmarks. And the third one is to uh, open chests in certain locations. So it might ask you to search chests at Steamy Springs. It might ask you to search chests at Slappy Shores. And you just go there and just open the chest. That's all the different ones. Or you can just do the bounty three times and that should complete the quest. For this great two Jujutsu Kaisen quest, such you have to assist in damaging opponents using shotguns. Now the assist word means that you can do this with a squad, so you can use your friends to complete this together, like uh, just squad up with two or three of your friends, and together you're gonna use a shotgun to deal damage, and you can just complete it together. So that's see, basically that's what it means to assist in dealing damage. So let's go ahead and find ourselves an opponent, and just gonna go and damage them. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure there was somebody running along me. Okay, somebody was fighting there. Oh, Curse Slam over there. Let's see. What can we get from here? I'm only doing this to attract attention because I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna show up. As soon as you hit a Curse Llama in this game, people show up. Very, very fast. Oh, there we go. Okay. I see somebody over there. I'm going to use this to uh, go to them. Where's the uh, grappler thingy? All right. Let's go say hello. So you need to deal 2,500 damage, which is a lot, but it's doable. Come on, dude. Come out of your hiding, please. Come on. There we go. <laughs> All right, so you get the gist of it. Just deal 2,000 or 500 damage. You can do this with squads. And let's sure with the quest. For this part of the Break the Curse uh, Jujutsu Kaisen quest, it says that you have to earn XP in creator-made items. Now, this is a huge problem because you're going to have to do this at least 25 times. You need to complete 25 stages because, like, the quests are com uh, are divided into grades. So, grade 4, then you uh, once you complete grade 4, you unlock grade 3, grade 2, grade 1, and then finally special grade, which, which unlocks on the 17th of August. So, basically, you're going to be doing this a lot. And one way or two ways to uh, to do this easily. So, I'm going to give you two Map codes the first one is going to be like a, an xp map that uh where you basically collect coins to get the xp and the second one is going to be a glitch xp map where it's going to give you uh free xp just by interacting with secret buttons here and there so we're going to start with the first one which is the 100 level lava and water uh death run so all you have to do is just go and put this code right here let me just go here so this is the island code as you can see it's uh 40 55 91 86 05 15 you'll find the code in the description box below of this video so we're going to press enter the map is going to show up, as you can see, 100 level, lava and water death run. Now, this one is a pretty easy map, to be honest. Uh, like, all you have to do is just, uh, like, uh, I guess, parkour through the map. It has 100 levels, and it has a lot of coins everywhere. And the map is super, super easy. You just have to, know, you know, just jump on jump pads, like, uh, jump left and right, parkour, mantle. It's really easy stuff. It's not really one of the hardest ones. So, we're going to jump into it. Just I'm going to show you a little bit of a preview. As you can see, I didn't really do any of the of the creative uh, XP map because I, I couldn't be bothered to be honest. But uh, but we need it. We actually need it to get the, the rewards. All right, here we go. So this is the map, and the first coin is going to be right here. I'm gonna jump here and we're gonna jump in. As you can see, a lot of people are already doing this one. I'm gonna do this. Here we go. As you can see, we're already gaining XP. And hop. Like I said, it's an easy map. You just run, mantle, run again, avoid the traps. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Oh, okay. Of course I died. <laughs> so that's the basic gist of the map. You can just go ahead and try it over and over and over again. Get yourself as many of these coins as possible. Here we go. I'm going to grab these little coins. All right. I'm going to stop here. So this is map number one. Now let's leave. I'm going to show you map number two. All right, here we go. So as you can see, just by doing that, we got 75,000 XP and we already completed one stage. I just like collected what? Uh, what was that? Like eight, 10 coins. It's very, very easy to do. Also, make sure you favorite these maps so you can uh, like find them again. You don't have to look for the code again. So just go to the map. So uh, no, 
let me just go to recently played my library recently played yeah there we go so make sure you favorite it oh my god man <laughs> again my library uh recently played click on this little icon right here and click heart and it will be added to your favorite and you can play it over and over again so the next map is going to be the glitch map which is this so this is the code for the glitch map it's called it's 01246798 this is the glitch map i'm gonna click enter and it's gonna show up it's called the only smg fight but we don't really care about the name so make sure to favorite again i'm gonna click play and we're gonna jump into the game itself come on there we go uh i'm gonna click uh, I think private game is better. So yeah, let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. For this one, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit complicated, just a little bit, because you know you need to know where to go and when to to go to click the the uh, secret hidden button, and then the XP is gonna start being given to you. Okay, here we go. Round one. So first thing you wanna go, you're gonna wanna do is uh, like jump right here. I'm gonna go into the uh, like main arena. All right. Next, you're gonna use this little like uh, pad thingy. Make sure you have this, uh, this um, whatever you call it. But let's actually grab another one, just in case. The grappler. All right, we're gonna jump here. I'm gonna go to that boat over there. Here we go. And once you're in the boat, the boat is gonna have two f secret, uh, secret like uh, buttons. The first button you're gonna want to go to the front of the boat right here. So we're going to land at the top right over here. I'm going to show you where to go next. So this is button number one. Also, keep in mind, these glitch maps can uh, get fixed. They can get glitched out. They can get removed. And you can also get banned. <laughs> so these are the risks, risks you're taking when you do these maps. So remember that. All right, here we go. We're going to jump over here. I'm going to go under the stairs. I believe these are the stairs. Oh, no, it's the other stairs. Sorry. It's the main like stairs right here. Yeah. And basically, we're going to go to the bottom of the ship. Man, I really uh, miss this ship, man. It was so, so dope to land here. I'm going to take a left. I'm going to take a left again. And we're going to find the door here. And we're going to go in. And there's going to be this toolbox to the left. And if you go right here, you're going to find a secret button. Let me actually take a screenshot of this. Maybe I'll use it. Who knows? Just going to do that. And the XP is going to be uh, given to you. You're going to be taken back. And you should be gaining XP, as you can see. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. 6,000 and again 2,000 and like the the um the quests are being completed as we're talking as you can see so it's counting up i'm already at stage two out of five and yeah you can just you know chill here it's gonna keep giving you xp now for the second button i'm gonna show you where you can find that you're gonna again jump off again I'm gonna use this little pad over here so as you can see i'm still gaining xp i'm already completing the stages after this video i'm just gonna afk here man because I absolutely need to, so I can unlock as many rewards as possible. So for the second, uh, for the second um, button, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna go over here. Man, that's a tough, <laughs> that's a tough word to say. Here we go. We're gonna land here. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna jump to the bottom of the ship from the other side. So it's gonna be the other side of the ship, all the way over here and under these stairs next to the uh, D from Marigold right here. I'm gonna go here and there's gonna be a secret button that you can, there we go, you can just, there it is. So make sure you hover over it and you're gonna interact with it and it's gonna start giving you XP again. So uh, this is insane, this is a lot of XP. Like I said, um, this can be reset, this can be removed. It is not guaranteed. The only guaranteed thing is the uh, first map, which is the, uh, the like uh, the uh, maze map where you can collect like XP XP coins. And yeah, this is the basic idea. <laughs> I hope you guys like uh, found this video helpful. This is literally it. This is what you need. Uh, I'm gonna like upload more uh, like XP maps just for the Jujutsu Kaisen like uh, uh, event, just so you can get all the rewards. And yeah, that's it.